Happy bonus read, Leos. Welcome to your reading. This is an extended reading for the Leos. Um, get comfortable, get your favorite adult beverage. We are going to see what messages are going to come out today. It is, like I said, I think I said it, it's an extended reading, so get comfortable. Um, thank you, Leo, for being the top viewed sign last week. So you're the first uh, bonus read I am doing today. But uh, yeah, I got a king of wands here at the bottom of the main deck. Oh, and I got a strength. I, for, when I flipped it, I wasn't really looking at the cards. I, just, I was so worried about hitting record. And yeah, we have a strength. There you are again. In your energy, in your power, high vibrational. It, it feels like a change is in the air. That's what it feels like. Um, strength card is, let's see, strength. Ooh, king of cups, nine of pentacles. Five of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Reverse. Um, for some of you, when when uh, you watch tarot, some people resonate it as a love. Some will resonate it as a work. And if it's a work read for some of you, it definitely feels like a change. You got a Justice Reverse and a Ten of Wands Reverse. Emperor there, Queen of Cups, Knight of Swords Reverse. Um, the Justice Reverse tells is a break. It, it feels like an ending, an ending of some type of contract. And a King of Wands is a beginning. I just feel like you've. It's like a relief. It's. It's maybe you're on vacation, for instance. Um, it just feels like it's a sense of relief. And it, I don't know who this King of Cups is in your life, Nine of Pentacles, but it's just. It feels like you're running towards it. Or this connection's running towards you. Let's just see where we're headed here, Leo. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Leo, if you are a Leo, know a Leo. Feel like being a Leo, a Leo, so I'm glad you're here. You could be a Leo and this resonates, or you could be dealing with a Leo. It could resonate as the main story, and Leo could be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Leo or for a Leo. Take it as it resonates. There's the Emperor again. All right, general energy for the Leos. Collect the messages. Collect the messages for the Leos. Collective messages for the Leos. The Five of Swords. Aquarius. What's influencing the Five of Swords? What's influencing the Five of Swords here? What's influencing the Five of Swords? The Ten of Wands. It's a Five of Swords is it's it could be lies, direct lies. It's a problem. Ten of Wands is I feel like somebody is making something harder than it is. There's a lack of clarity. There's a lack of truth going on here. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? The Nine of Pentacles. I love that. That's the minor arcana card of the Empress in its Virgo energy. It is more money coming in. I, you know, I'm getting for some of you Leos the sense of, I feel like this Five of Swords could be about maybe a boss, for instance. Maybe somebody's on their way out. And Leo, there's a vacancy. There's something for you to apply. But for some of you, I feel like somebody's going to come to you and ask, hey, are you interested? Are you, because I, I get more money. Nine of Pentacles isn't always about money. Actually, it's more about one's uh, security and stability within the self. It's also about the patience of, of, of working at something for a long time but it really is about um having feeling good about yourself you know it's just it's high vibrational energy going on there what's in the past what's in the past for the leos what's in the past for the leos what's in the past for the leos the full reverse let me move this down for you guys the full reverse Aquarius again. What's on your mind? Ten, see, tens and tarot talk about a cycle being over. I don't get this as you right here. Either this is somebody that has their eye on you and it feels like a situation they're going through and you're going to benefit from this. May, for instance, if this is a love read for, for all who are watching, maybe somebody's finally done with a connection. Five of Swords and a Ten of Wands, because the Ten is upright. And somebody's just like, you know what? I'm t it, this is harder than it needs to be. But I feel like somehow, some way, you're the one benefiting. What is on Leo's mind? What is on the Leo's mind? Okay, the Devil. Strength card in the Six of Pentacles. Ooh. Ooh, 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 look at that. Is somebody like breaking up and, and choosing you over an, an older energy? Okay, got the devil, the strength card, and the six of pentacles there. What's in the near future? 
What's in the near future for the Leos? What's in the near future? What's in the near future? The Knight of Cups reverse. This is related to one each other. See, in tarot, it's not just the specific cards. You always look at the cards around it. This is, this is, the full reverse is somebody who acts, you know, because of fear, let, they are held back, afraid to make a decision, afraid to go for it, afraid to stay. Um, they don't want to, they don't want to make the wrong decision. They don't want to get hurt. Okay, let's see. How do the Leo see themselves? 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 Six of Cups reverse. It feels like, Leo, it's like one lie too many. Nine of Pentacles is, is a lot of times it's a single energy and feeling relieved. You're, you don't have this in your life anymore. Six of Cups reverse is ending a soulmate contract here. And the star reverse. Aquarius again. Maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. Like there's no hope for this to ever be anything better than what it has been. What is the energy coming in you don't see coming? What is the energy coming in Leos don't see coming? What is the energy coming in the Leos don't see coming? What is the energy coming in the Leos don't see coming? What is it? The Ace of Swords reverse is a no card. It, it's not just a no card. It is the no card. I feel like you got, honestly, it feels like you got a player here. You have a player. I think you're already free from it. On your mind, you got the Devil, which is upright. You got the Strength card and the Six of Pentacles. And this might actually be away from this energy maybe you have a new connection and the whole reading is a warning because what's coming in is an ace of swords reverse maybe it's somebody who can't say no to you honestly it there's already i'm getting a solid three if not four energies going on in this reading if you're dealing with somebody who's in a connection maybe you're in a connection too the newer connection it's like two people who can't stay away from one another knowing is it it could be a dangerous situation because so many people could get hurt but the strength card is i can't let this go either and we have a six of pentacles on the it's upright so it tells me it's a very reciprocal feeling meanwhile somebody's got a liar in their grasp you know who can't quit they it's just like you can't every time you think it's over somehow they you know talk their way back in what is in leo's emotions what are 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 in leo's emotions the five of pentacles reverse i like that that's getting your groove back from this double energy getting your groove back from somebody who really manipulated you who who, who lied to you and I'll, I'll tell you this, in the near future, it's a Knight of Cups reverse coming in. And that is an inappropriate lover. It's somebody who, who they'll promise the world, but they deliver nothing. And you're over that. Five of Pentacles reverse and the Nine of Pentacles tells me these two cards with an Ace of Swords reverse is you are saying no. Read my lips. It's a no. I'm done. There's no hope that this connection's ever going to be what I first wanted it to be. In fact, Nine of Cups Reverse is here. And you may have even lost your attraction for them, fallen out of love for them. What is, uh, what is the outcome here for the Leos? 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 The Nine of Wands. Sagittarius. I, I can't stop looking. There you are, King of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. You're taking a new offer. Look at you over here. You know what this actually feels like, Leo? When I look at this reading like this, straight reason for the reading is a Nine of Pentacles. 
now that we have all the cards out here, I feel like you got more money coming in. So if you have more money coming in, you got a raise, you have a better job. Some of you, Nine of Pentacles, can even uh, go into a frequency and a vibration because you're in a new connection. You're looking good, you're feeling good. You, I, I, and every time I've seen the King of Wands, it's upright, it's not reversed. So I feel like you are really over this type of connection. So the Nine of Pentacles is really telling whatever this is in your life, and maybe you're putting it out on social media, maybe your family still talks to this person, they hear of it, ring, 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 Knight of Cups reverse is coming in because a Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is a hand out, like a helping hand. Now, I feel like they're looking for you to help them because also it was the third card. We have the Devil, which can be a very toxic, like somebody's toxicities and the strength card in the past, it's kind of maybe they're being squeezed, but it just really feels like somebody really look, because you have something good, somebody wants a piece of it. So the Knight of Cups reverse is running back in and promising whatever it is that worked in the past. They're not even changing their old playbook, but we have a Nine of Swords reverse and a Four of Wands. Some of you, are you buying a house? Are you moving in with someone? I, I don't even know. I don't feel that. I feel like you have something really good going for you. And this person is looking to attach themselves. It's kind of like a parasite on the ass of humanity kind of thing. And a five of pentacles reverses. You say, no, nope, not today, Satan, not happening. Nine. Of, if you even take this, a nine mine with a six, you have still a Capricorn three of pentacles going on over here. Somebody is trying, they're hoping that they're going to talk their way to separate you from your money. I That's what I feel now that all the cards are out here. If it's a lover, if it's a family member, whatever it is, the underlying current is, which I wish it was the main reading, is you have more money. Either it's coming in or you already know about it because you're like Scrooge McDuck throwing the gold coins around. You have money coming in. This person is coming back with that. They, they get it. It's like a shark sensing um, blood in the water, you know, but the nine of wands, Sagittarius. And what I like about this nine of wands is you're not holding on to fear. You're allowing your eight of wands just to move forward. And you know what it also feels like? It's like they don't even bother you anymore. They don't affect you anymore. You have no problem telling them no. In the past, they would have guilt you. But now, with the Five of Pentacles reverse, Ace of Swords reverse, and I love this Nine of Wands, like I said. Usually, the guy is holding his Eight of Wands back. He's standing in front of him. And he or she's just walking through it. So I feel like you, this energy doesn't even bother you anymore. Look at Nine of Swords reverse. And you know what they've done in the past to you you know what they're about you know who they are and you just don't want them anymore you don't want anything to do with them but they're gonna think they can talk you into some sad story or into victim mode or I'm not even getting wands here so I don't feel like they're they're gonna like like a schmooze you or anything I just feel like you got some kind of victim story coming in for them to separate you and your money and you're over here saying no I'm not your ATM I'm really not. And I'm not here to, to help you out. It's like you have family for that. I'm not it. Because I really feel like you have something really good. You have an Ace of Pentacles and a King of Wands. And I can't even get to it in this reading, which tells me maybe you're keeping it very secretive. You're keeping it really close. So let's see what we have here going on. Two strength cards. And look at that. The Devil. Yep. And the Four Swords Reverse. Four Swords Reverse is a card of anxiety. And this Devil, I feel, is... A bit desperate maybe they they owe somebody money or they're looking to you to help them out but I really feel like that's what this reading is about okay what is the five of swords influenced by the ten of wands for Leo's what is the five of swords Aquarius what is the five of swords what is the five of swords And that's, yeah, two of pentacles. I, I feel like somebody's got money problems. Four cups, nine of wands reverse. Maybe they're kicked out of the house and they need a place to stay. And you're just like, you know what? I can give you the number to a homeless shelter because it's not here. What is the 10 of wands, Sagittarius energy? What is the 10 of wands? I really, see, look at the star and the king of wands, but a hermit reverse. So somebody's coming back. 
and guess what when you have this card reverse I, which I'm really seeing it see the star and the lantern the stars reverse the stars reverse how you see yourself and the ten of wands is saying you know what it's not my monkey it's not my circus it's not my burden I, I, it's not like you wish them ill will star in the hierophant reverse but really it's not your job to fix them somebody got themselves in a really bad predicament I feel like they need money they need your help and I feel like you've done so much for them in the past and you're the one who got burned for it. And then once they're whole, they kind of took your money, took your love and took it to somewhere else. What is the Nine of Pentacles? Reason for the reading. Virgo energy. What is the Nine of Pentacles? What is the Nine of Pentacles? King of Swords reverse. They haven't changed. Leos, they have not changed. I mean, you got a King of Swords reverse here. You got a Knight of Cups reverse. King of Swords reverse can be a narcissist. It could be somebody who's just not willing to change. They don't have any, they, they're, you know, they'll promise they're going to change, but they don't. And like, give me one more card on the King of Swords reverse. Six, yeah, Six of Pentacles reverse. Just wait, Leo, just wait. When I see these two cards with the Nine of Pentacles, you have something this person wants. And this, for the, maybe for the first time, you're not giving it to them. You're not answering the call. You've moved on. Wheel of Fortune, Three of Wands reverse. You have their back you have your back to this person queen of pentacles you're really shiny from a distance and this person is in a really bad spot so when i see this so you're you have a no coming in reason for the reading is the six of pentacles reverse you already know on your mind that they're coming back because they need something from you you're going to say nope i'm keeping my pentacles thank you very much king of swords reverse this is this is a even with an emperor reverse this is a very intolerable energy they're nice when you're they're getting their way but when they don't get their way there's hell to pay and um I, that's what i feel like this is a warning read what is the full reverse in the past aquarius energy once again the full reverse in the past and the four of cups reverse somebody four cups reverse is somebody not waiting around but i really get this as them if this is a love relationship for you and you did everything maybe you paid their bills you gave them money you gave them a place to stay and then when things were doing better for them they left that's what it feels like four cups reverse they took their cup somewhere else it's just like it feels like it's been a cycle here Tell me about the strength and the devil and the six of pentacles reverse. Look at knight of wands reverse there. Wheel of fortune. Justice. Two of cups reverse. Judgment reverse. Yeah, this person won't, won't learn, Leo. This person is not going to learn if you keep helping them out. I don't know. Some of you, but maybe this is even your own grown children. The more you help them out, the, the more problematic they'll become. It's almost as if whatever you have, they feel entitled to your energy and to your money and to your time. And I can't, that Ace of Pentacles is a strong feeling to me. And you have something I feel like you're trying to keep from them. You, if this is more money, maybe you got a settlement or some, some type of money in, you don't want this person to know about it because somehow they'll feel entitled to it. What is the Knight of Cups reverse in the near future? knight of cups reverse pisces in the near future coming in yep the full reverse again yep that's a, knight of cups reverse is just somebody who who talks the talk they don't walk the walk They're, it's the same they haven't changed they haven't changed but you know who has changed you death card two of swords reverse and then chariot reverse there's no free ride anymore no free free meal ticket tell me about the star reverse six of cups reverse Scorpio and Aquarius here, how you see yourself. Realizing they're, they're not going to change, but you are cha you've changed. Six of Cups reverse. And the Emperor. Ooh, I knew I was going to see that Emperor. I'm glad to see him upright. You're putting your foot down. You're saying no to this energy. You know what? I think that was your short. I think that may have been your short yesterday when I did it. I actually did some of the signs I did two or three times. I only because um you know doing shorts are not as easy as it is trying to get a whole reading in 60 seconds but that's what it feels like you are putting your foot down with somebody and they don't like it they don't they don't they don't like that you have boundaries 
Why the why the Ace of Swords reverse? The energy coming in for the Leos. It's that it's just a huge no. Yes, yeah, Six of Swords reverse. I feel like you don't even want them at your house. You know, you don't want them in your inbox. You don't want them in your your mailbox. I was gonna say mailbox. <laughs> I hope they're not in your mailbox. Six of Swords reverse. All this Aquarian energy is reverse. Why the Six of Swords reverse? They have nowhere to go. That's what it feels like. Six of Swords reverse. And the Seven of Pentacles. It's Seven is missing. It's three. This person has nowhere to go. I feel like they got kicked out, to be honest. Of, uh, okay, Five of Pentacles reverse in your emotions. You got your groove back. You've healed from this energy. I feel like if this if this is like an adult child, I feel like they treat you like shit. When I see a Five of Pentacles reverse here, it implies that they made you feel like shit. Whoever this is to you. Five of Pentacles reverse in your emotions. Not my monkeys, not my circus. And the Five of Cups reverse. Yeah, you're not thinking about them. You don't think about them. Look at this Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands. Now, I want to know what this is. This is that Ace of Pentacles. You have something very happy going on here. Moon reverses. Shh. Tara Lady, stop talking. It's my secret. Okay, tell me about the King of Wands and Ace of Pentacles and the outcome here. And the Nine of Wands. What is the eight, what is the King who Leo energy, the King of Wands, but why is the King of Wands in the outcome? Ten of Swords. Finale, baby. You got two tens revert or two tens upright. You are done. Done, 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 done. Why the ace of pentacles in the outcome? What is that for Leo? Why is the ace of pentacles in the outcome? Six of cups reverse. Got free from them. And the knight of pentacles reverse. You're just, it's so clear you're not giving them anything. You're not giving them anything. Anything. I don't even know if you'd pick up the phone. What's the, who's the nine of wands? I don't know if that's you. I feel like that's them, the nine of wands. Who's the nine of wands in the outcome? Yeah, it's them. Look at the devil. They haven't changed, Leo. It's a no. Strength reverse, ace of swords reverse, king of cups reverse, four swords, and the nine of cups. This feels... <laughs> <laughs> Four Swords could be literally like Lane. I feel like you've got some type of romantic connection going on, coming in. That's where your energy is. And this coming back, somebody's coming back to try to separate you from your money. It That is so clear. That is the reading. And I feel like the way they're going to do it is try to talk you up, make you, you know, make almost make you feel like you're responsible for them. And you're not. I just don't even, I don't think they can guilt you anymore whoever this is. And where you really are in this reading is in something new. I feel a new love, new relationship. And I feel like that's very reciprocal and that's growing strong, but you're trying to keep it from whoever this is. So, all right, Leos, have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.